What I'm going to cover in this uh, video, guys, is, is just a little tip uh, where you're going for a choke from the uh, crucifix position. So, after what we do when we get to side back control is uh, we can go to a, a crucifix position, particularly if uh, we've gone to set up, say, a clock choke and the man starts to turn towards the cross, the rollers, then we can go to a, a, a crucifix position, set him in that position, then go for the choke from there. Um, what I like to do is, is actually set the choke before I actually go there. So it looks as if you know, I'm all ready to go into uh, a clock choke. Uh, I start to set up, the man starts to turn on me, therefore I go to the crucifix position, the choke is already in place very nicely, and I finish it from there. So first of all, just to illustrate going from side back to the crucifix position, and, and then going for the choke. Typically how we would do this here, because Brian Dowdy's it's all turtled up on me like this here, so grab the belt, tip the way of getting in here, driving the inside, side, coming to side back control here, slipping through the inside, keeping my weight on this near side here on the shoulder, so it's very difficult to try and roll me. But, uh, this is arm, we want it high, but I also can't reach back to grab at it. But, and from here, we might set up this crucifix from here. So we've got the collar, I'm going to drive and shift my leg forward like this by scooting through, bringing the left side through here like this, we pull it back on that arm so we clamp it tight into here in between those legs and we want to get this elbow right inside those thighs here like this here, you see? Now to bring them over, I'm just simply going to go from this position where I think that there, I'm going to park my hips to the front and bring them over I go straight to the back of the head of course with his arm so that it gets this out of commission, you can't bring them together and then I shift my hips back a little bit like that make sure you keep these legs pointing back like this, it's more difficult for him to get his arm out. And then reaching around underneath his throat, just deep, deep here, getting right underneath that throat to lift it up. Like that. And now from here, we're just going to pull him back onto his loop like this and breathe in an arch to get our finish to here. Now, let's look at that again. This time I'm going to go straight for the choke. So here we have him, side back control again. Get the back, can I go, slip underneath, get there, get my weight down to here. And I'm thinking maybe I like a clock choke, so I slip underneath, I've opened up the gear here, I slip underneath just to get that nice and tight grip under there, so here's my right hand pulling that gear open, got the lapel on there, here we go. So we're all set for this clock choke. But at this point, what he does is he reaches forward there with his left hand like that and starts to just lift himself a little to make it a little difficult. He's going to try and roll me like this. Now I'm dropping my weight here like that, but really now scooting for the clock choke is getting potentially, uh, uh, you know, I could still try it, but it is making it a little more difficult for me because, of course, I want the weight down on this here, down on the shoulder. But so I'm thinking, okay, let's just go for the crucifix from here. You see, so I scoot this leg forward just to what this is doing is scoot forward here. One, it's retaining that arm where it is, and two, it's dropping my weight back down like that. Now I'm going to bring the leg, this left leg here, up and over. I catch the arm like that and pull it back to my crucifix here. All right, clamp the legs as before, and now I shift the weight through, turn him over, and as you can see, the choke is already there. I bring the arm to the back of the head, choke is already here, now just big breathe in, pull her on, and you got it. Go through the end. Let's just have a look around from the other side position here, so we'll turn him around. Here he is, turtled up, and I go, being through the side here like this, underneath, gripping a hold of that forearm. Get my weight down, like that. I'm thinking clock choke. I use my right hand, open the lapel, bring my left arm underneath his chin, get a nice deep grip on the lapel. Now I'm thinking clock choke, but at that point he reaches forward, he starts to lift himself up and turn him towards me, he lift my weight up. So I need to correct this very quickly, or else I'm going to get turned over. So what I do is I scoot my weight forward like that, bring the uh, leg back into the arm, and also drop my weight back. Bring this left leg over, clip on that forearm, shoot it back to clamp everything in position down to here. And from here, I'm just going to be just sitting back. See, this arm, think back here, and sit back through here like that. Hand goes to the back of the head. And from here, big breathe in. Pull the choke on. 
in die Sterne.